Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Think Future. My name is Calabucas, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking innovation startups, the future. Not necessarily those, and not necessarily in that order. If you're watching on YouTube, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note on Apple Podcasts. I greatly appreciate it. So in a lot of the models of product innovation, we talked about, we talk about desire. We talk about ability to build. We talk about skills. Like there's, there's, a, there's a startup Nirvana thing where you have the skills to build the customer desire, the willingness to pay. And you have, uh, I forget what the third thing is, but the one thing that I noticed that isn't in a lot of these models is human nature. And I think a lot of times, because one of the things that's interesting about humans is that if you compare us to other animals, we, our nature, we, our human, our nature is to question our nature. Our question, our nature is not to just go along with what we're like. In fact, if you think about it, I mean, that's where a lot of libertarian objectivist philosophy comes from is that we look at, upon ourselves and we go, we, we know more than the typical animal where we have reason, we have intelligence, we can do these things that are above and beyond a typical animal. So we can do things that are against human nature. We can say things that are against human nature. We can say, we can decide that we're not even who we are. We can decide to be anybody. Today I could be one person, tomorrow I could be somebody completely different. We can make these decisions because we have the ability to reason. Unlike say a cat or a dog, a cat can't not be a cat. A dog can't not be a dog. These animals are what they are. They have no conception of being something other than what we are, what they are. Whereas with humans, it's our nature to go against our nature. It's very rare that we look at ourselves and we say we're happy with what we are. We, we want to change. If you look at the bookstores, I mean, every bookstore is littered with tons of books on changing and changing and changing and changing because we don't like who we are. We want to be somebody different. But I digress. So one of the interesting things about human nature is that whenever we fight human nature, because we, we are fighting human, we are fight our human nature all the time. We'll lose. We will lose when we try to fight human nature. So that's why I think it's extremely important if you're in any kind of innovation, if you're in any kind of, any kind of innovation space, that to study psychology, to study philosophy, to study anthropology, to study the study of humanity, of human beings. Because a lot of times we see things that we think are gonna go one way, but they go the complete opposite way because we forget about human nature. This is one of the main reasons why we cannot predict what human beings are going to do. I mean, we can predict what animals are gonna do, but we can't predict what human beings are gonna do because we decide to go against our nature all the time. If human beings just went with their human nature all the time, we would know exactly what humans would do. We would know exactly where the, which way the stock market was going to go. We would know exactly what products to put in front of people to, to, be, to be successful. If humans followed their nature, life would be so much more predictable. But we don't. But if we fight our nature, a lot of times we will lose. So if your product aligns with human nature, it's much, much easier for you to meet, reach product market fit. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future.